Apple doesn't really give any discounts for their machines, except for the refurbished store. Is going refurbished worth it? To answer this, I bought two MacBooks. I mean, two more MacBooks, a brand new one and a refurbished one. And I invited my friend Tom, who is another software engineer like me, to see if he can spot the difference while we ran some tests on these machines. All right, here's the Apple store. Let's go to store, certified refurbished. Let's see, Mac. I want, uh, let's go with a MacBook Air and I want the release year to be 22. Let's go with silver, eight gigabytes, 512. Wow. That's still pricey. <laughs> it's a 10 core, that's why. The 10 core GPUs are already immediately more expensive. So the brand new one is $13.99. The one on sale refurbished is $11.89. These are pretty much brand new machines. They can also be Apple trade-ins, which means that they could have been used for up to a year now. And it doesn't say what you're getting, so I hope it's not bad. I mean, it does say what you're getting. It says the specs on it, but it doesn't say if uh, it was pre-owned for two days or for two weeks or two months or a year. But it is covered by Apple's 14-day return policy, which is good. That's gonna have to be it. Add to my bag. 1260 this thing is costing me with tax. Check out. They make this thing way too easy to order. Place your order, making me spend money. All right, now it's time to pick the brand new machine. 13 inch MacBook Air Silver. I've upgraded to the 10 core GPU, 16 gigabytes of memory and 256 gigs of RAM this time. This one is actually costing me 13.99. Review bag, 14.82 with tax. It's gonna be a couple weeks till this thing gets here. Which one of these is the refurbished one? Kind of hard to tell. They're just in the same kind of box. Well, that, that didn't work. Not like it did in my mind. There we go. Ah, there's a difference right there. They both have nice plastic on it, but the brand new one looks like a brand new one. It's got a nice picture of the MacBook. The refurbished one doesn't have a nice picture of the MacBook. It just says MacBook Air. But will I be able to tell once I take it out of the box? I gotta say, they pack him up pretty well. I'm just gonna open these now very carefully. Wow, they both look pretty darn good. And inside the box, we get brand new stuff. My adapter is a little bit different. That one's the dual one, and this is the more powerful one. Cable is brand new on both of these. Very nice. Do they both have the little sheet of paper that separates the screen from the keyboard? Nice, I can't tell the difference. Given that this is my first refurbished machine, I'm gonna go through it very carefully and I'm gonna examine the body, make sure everything is clean, no scratches anywhere. This is like a brand new machine. I think that this is the refurbished one, but there's not a single scratch on it. There aren't even any fingerprints on the keyboard. So of course you wanna check the trackpad, the keyboard, the screen, the ports. I'm gonna visually examine the ports now, but I'm gonna make sure to check them and make sure that each port works as intended. And once I get into the machine and set it up, first thing I'm gonna do is check the battery cycles. All right, to set up the new Max, I'm gonna have to migrate from my old one to my new one so that all the configuration is exactly the same for my further testing. So subscribe if you're not already. But I'm gonna take a moment to go ahead and migrate the data from the existing Macs to the new ones. If you don't know how to do that or you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and check the channel. I'll link to the video down below where I show you how to do that. Tom here is a friend and he's also a software engineer. So we got two MacBooks here. One of these is brand new and one of these is refurbished. What I wanna know is if you can figure out which one is which. Just looking at this, um... I can't tell the difference. Both are really clean. I don't see any obvious cosmetic issues. I don't see any problems with the screen or anything like that. Sometimes around the ports, you can see little bits of wear. I don't see any problems. I'd be curious to know what the price difference was. <laughs> well, the price difference is not that huge. You can find deals that are better on Craigslist, for example, but you get the full warranty here. You get uh, supposedly you get a new battery. I wanna dig in a little bit more and take a look at what's inside the machine. And maybe that'll give us some hints because now I actually forgot which one is which myself. <laughs> Let's check a couple of things out here. Um, one is the battery. Because a brand new battery will have pretty much zero cycles, right? We're gonna go to uh, About Mac, more info. Yeah, I usually have to do this with two hands and now you're helping out here. Uh-huh, okay, interesting. Yours has a cycle count of one and mine has a cycle count of Four. Does that mean mine is refurbished and yours is not? 
Were you comparing the serial number? Because I was doing that too. Yeah, but I, I don't know <laughs> if there's a, a method to that. I don't know. They're not similar enough to compare that. I did see this difference right here. Charging, mine says no and yours says yes. Yours is not charging. Oh, I don't see the, little, the little lightning bolt there. Yeah. Let's restart this one. System report. Okay, now they're in sync. It's because I think one of the screens was on before, but the cycle count is still a four here and one over there. Yeah. That's the one difference. So is it the number of power cycles it's gone through? Yeah. Supposedly, so four would be more, that would be the old, slightly older? I guess that would be the slightly the older one. one. And that's the first power cycle. What Apple, I think, suggests is uh, keep it under a thousand. So four is nowhere close to that. I believe right. my my machine. So a thousand would be something you do maybe in two to three years. Yeah, a thousand would be a while from now. I've had this one since uh, January of this year, and this one says 52. Mm, that's not too bad. So four is almost like new. Maybe it was turned on a couple of times. The maximum capacity is also 100% on both of these. That's good. You don't want the maximum capacity to be dropped. There's one more thing I want to check. We can check the SSD status. SSDs are consumable, right? There would be something that uh, Apple would have to change. This little utility tells us information about the SSD. See if you can take a look at this and gather what the difference is if any of this matters at all. Interesting, well, this was certainly had more power cycles. Power on hours is more. Unsafe shutdowns. Unsafe much. shutdowns? It wasn't me, I swear. We see uh, data units read and written, 256 gigabytes, 449 written. Yeah. Versus 1.16 terabytes. Yeah. This has certainly been doing a lot more in terms of I.O. This one's been doing some more work. And you can look at the number of commands here too. Yeah, certainly more of everything on this one. More data units read, written commands, write commands, read commands, power cycles, 149 versus 76, power on hours, 24 versus four. This one clearly has more of everything. So do you want to make a guess which one is the refurbished one? <laughs> this is probably the refurbished one. I'd say one. that one too. Yeah, so so I guess my question is, and I, yeah. I don't know this because I'm not intimately aware of the, the, the inner workings of Macs and how they do things, but none of this SSD information gets reset when they format the disk and well, unless they swap out the SSD, right? Yeah. They should report the proper metrics about it. Yeah. I thought that they did swap out the SSD because it's a consumable, right. but apparently they don't. So it's a nice shiny box on the outside. Mm -hmm. Everything's clean, scratchless, but the SSD clearly has a little bit more use. It's not terrible, right? You right. can. You can right. get a lot more reads and writes out of this, but it's not fresh new. But right. that said, look at the new one. The new one has a lot of stuff on it too. Power cycle 76, power on hours four. That, that's possible. I may have had it on for four hours. Unsafe shutdowns though, not a single one of my shutdowns was unsafe. So I don't know where it's getting that stuff from. Maybe there's some diagnostic testing that they do when they install the operating system. There's gonna be some read and write uh, yeah. there. And then maybe they do a series of checkouts to see if they can get it to fail. I, I don't yeah. know, again, it, it all depends on what Apple's doing on their end. Yeah, to prepare a brand new machine, they might yeah. have turned it on and off a couple of times and did some unsafe stuff. Yeah. Apple, I'm looking at you. Don't be unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> Based on the SSD and the battery test that we've looked at here, it clearly indicates that this is the refurbished machine, even though those numbers are all pretty low and the body of the machine is clearly indistinguishable from a brand new one. There's no red flags here for me because it, it came from a reputable source yeah. for refurbishing, that's Apple. It doesn't look like it's been used too intensely. Not even like oily prints on the keyboard. And, Look at a, this. and a new battery. The new keyboards, new they're nice. Yeah. But they do have a little bit of shine to them when yeah. when they've been used a little bit. Yep. See yeah. that? Yeah. They wear down mechanically. They wear down There's a little, a little bit. bit of little bit of oil that comes off of fingertips. Right. You don't see that shine on Not at all. It's like they popped out a keyboard and put in a brand new one. They might have. I think these surfaces are kind of designed to to be kind of very matte in terms of texture, right. reflectivity, so you don't see a lot of the oils, but this stuff does wear down. So this machine came out in summer of 2022. It's probably a year old at most. Yeah. Even if it was used, it wasn't used for that long. Right. But theoretically, if it was used a lot, Apple could have swapped out the body, the keyboard, the trackpad, the, maybe the screen, probably not the screen though, the SSD and the battery. They could have swapped all those pieces out, kept the main board and the screen. This could be that machine. 
machine as well. Yeah, that's the thing. They don't really tell you what was replaced, and it's not necessarily that easy to figure it out. At this point, I'm pretty confident that refurbished is a really good option. How do I know this? Well, this video that you're watching right now was the first video I recorded with the refurbished MacBook, but I waited to publish it until a couple months later until I was sure that the machine didn't have any issues. There's a bunch of videos that you'll find on my channel with this MacBook. Is refurb a good deal? Well, in my case, the refurb was last year's model and it was like new. This may not be the case with older models. I haven't tried that out yet, but I may in the future. Have you bought a refurbished model before, older than a year? How was it? Let me know in the comments and I'm sure other people would appreciate it too. For a machine that I found indistinguishable from a brand new one, the savings were great. For example, the base model M2 MacBook Air is $929, which is cheaper than the same model on Amazon Renewed Store. But the difference is Apple gives a full one year warranty where Amazon only gives you 90 days. Plus you get a full 14 day return window like you do with brand new products when you buy from the Apple store. There is one catch though. If you're like me, you sell your MacBooks after using them. It's one of those bits of value that you unlocked from a MacBook that you don't even realize when you first get one, how well it retains its value. But with refurbished, even though Apple gives you all the goodies, even brand new cables and adapter, they give you a box that clearly says you bought a refurbished product. And even if that product is like new, like mine, there's still a stigma around about buying refurbished hardware out there. So your second hand sale might not fetch you as high a price as you might get with a brand new machine. Now, if you're curious to see how these silver machines compare to the midnight color machines, I was, then watch this video next and I will see you in the next one.